Today we're gonna to make this nut bolt identifier, which is simply a tool that will allow us to figure out what sizes that we have in a bolt or a nut. These are SAE. They go from a half inch down to a number six. Let's get started. On my website, I have the sheet that you can print off and it works like this. There's gonna be two different sizes with, for each one of these holes. We're gonna have the outside diameter of the bolt and the nut, and then the inside diameter, which is gonna be whatever the identifying hole is. I've got these two measurements over here on the side. Now, you might find that your bolts and nuts are nothing like mine. They, maybe they're thicker or thinner, I don't know. But these are what I came up with mine. I hope that they work for you. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out and we're gonna glue it to a half inch piece of plywood. The dimensions are four and a half inches this way and 10 inches, maybe a little bit over 10 inches this way. I'll go ahead and add some glue to the top. You don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna use a squeegee to wipe this all on. These silicone squeegees are very handy. They're one of my favorite new tools for gluing. And this just fits right on here. You wanna obviously make sure that we line it up on this side as best as we can. Okay, now this is dried. I wanna show you something. You can see that there's a little bit of dirt there and right there. The problem with using paper, obviously, is that it's easy to damage and uh, it'll get dirty in time. But I'm gonna show you a trick that will help protect that surface. We're gonna use a little Mod Podge. And just take a brush and we're gonna go over the top of it. Just put enough on the top that it covers it. I'm gonna take my squeegee again and I'm just gonna go really lightly over the surface. Now when this dries, it's gonna have a nice protective layer on the top like that, but I'm not gonna be using this. I did laser engrave one that I'm going to be working on. Everything from this point out is going to be the same as the paper, but you're gonna see this. Once this dries, we're gonna take it over to the drill press and we're gonna drill out each one of the center points with a 16th inch drill bit. We'll do that so that we can flip this over and we can drill out the other way and know exactly where the center is. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Now that you've drilled all your holes out, you'll grab your paper again. You're gonna decide which side you want your bolt and which side you want your nut. When I made mine, I did all the bolts on one side and the nuts on the other side, just like that. For the example from this far out, I'm gonna say that the right side is gonna be the nut. So that means I wanna use a 7 8 Forzner bit all the way through on both right holes. The same 3 quarter inch will go to here, 5 eighths will go here, all the way down like that. And then with the bolt, you'll want to flip this over and you'll want to drill in the width of the cap of the bolt. I think it's easier to drill all the way through for the nuts and then once you've done that, flip it over and you'll do the same thing on the other side. There are a lot of weird sizes that you might not have as far as drill bits, and that's okay. You need to get yourself one of these. These are taper bits or step bits. They have most of all these sizes on them. You can get these for like $10. Besides making one of these boards, they're very useful in the shop. We'll go through and we'll do the first four, and then from there, you're on your own. We'll go ahead and drill out both of the right holes with a 7 8 Forzner bit. I'm gonna go ahead and push this down and I'll flip it when I get to the bottom to keep the hole clean. Now that these are drilled out, I'll take my bolt and I'll put it on the side here and it's gonna go down right about there. Okay, now we'll check it, and that is right below the surface. That's good. The second number here is half inch, so we'll drill these two holes out at a half of an inch. Now if we fit this inside here, that works. As you can see, I really had to snug this one in. I took the bolt next to it, I flipped this around, added a couple washers on the other side, put the bolt in, and then just screwed it in. That'll tighten some of these that are really difficult to get in. Now, whenever you're gonna drill one of these holes out and you're going to use a step bit, it'll go in one way and then flip it and do it the other way. And that'll get you the width that you need. Leave a comment down below if this is not clear enough. I think that a lot of this is self-explanatory, but let me know. Okay, now I'm gonna use a little epoxy. I've got a silicone nipple here and I'm just gonna add some epoxy. Now I'll just go ahead and mix this up. 
We'll go ahead and start off by squeezing some around the nut. Obviously be very careful that you don't get it inside the threads. If you're having troubles with this, you can always add a little hot glue on the other side just to keep it in place. I'll do all the nuts first, then I'll flip it over after these have cured a little bit and do the bolts. And here we go. It's pretty self-explanatory how this all works, but I thought I'd do a little video and make a pattern. It might be helpful to somebody. And I've got some bolts to sort. I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me. Let me know if this is something that you might make down below.